Hey guys, this lesson's on finding the change in potential from two points, um, feeling a electric field uh, that is changing. So, uh, say we have a problem like this, and we want to find the electric potential from A to B. So this from here to here, essentially, and this can be kind of difficult because. Um, our only thing giving us electric field is this uh, point right here, and it's changing because the closer it gets, the greater the electric field is. So, electric field right here could be like this, and at B, it could yeah, it's going to be a lot smaller. So, there's no constant electric field. Um, so, how do we figure this out? And the answer is uh, integrals. And um, and it's uh, if you know your calculus, it's not so bad. But um, here, I'll just walk you through one real quick. So let's look at the equation for potential. So delta V equals negative electric field times delta L. So um, if we want to find this, we have to break this down. First of all, to our, uh, our electric field um, is only due to this thing, and since it's a basically a point uh, charge with uh, regards to these. We can just write this down as the, put E down as the point uh, charge uh, equation. So we'll write it as 9 E9, nine. so that's the constant for it, uh, times 2 E to the negative ninth coulombs, because we have to convert nanocoulombs to coulombs. And all of that is over our X, which is changing. Sorry, that's x squared that is changing. So, um, and that times our delta L. And, sorry to change units here, but these are both the distance units. Um, delta L is the change in distance, and x is our distance. So, we can write this out as, um, we can write this LX as, uh, or um, delta L as change in time, so dx, essentially. So now we're going to put this in integral form. I'm just going to write all this as k, because um, this will remain constant the whole time. So here, let me, just so we can remember this. This is going to be written as k, just for now, over x squared times dx, because remember this is change. So we now we have the dx. And our bounds, are going to be our uh, chain or our uh, different lengths. So 0 0.02 and 0 0.06. And um, now all we have to do is uh, integrate it. We can take this k out, and you know, actually, let me just, when you multiply these two, you just get um, negative 18. So let me put that as negative 18. That's what k equals, all this equals this. Bounds 0 0.02, 0 0.06 from 1 over x squared dx. Okay, so now we just have to integrate this. And if you're savvy with your integrals, you'll know that the integral of 1 over x squared is negative 1 over x. And our bounds again from 0 to 2, and I mean from 0 0.02 to 0 0.06. Okay, and now we just uh, plug all this in. So negative 18 times um, what? negative 1 over uh, 0 0.06 minus negative 1 over point zero 0.02. And if you don't really understand how integrals work, uh, essentially what I'm doing here is I'm taking this point 0.6, putting it in there, and then subtracting it by the same thing with point 0.2 at the bottom. So this with point 0.6 minus this with point 0.2. I mean point zero 0.06 and point zero 0.02. So that'll end up Break it down some more into this is going to end up being negative 
16.6 plus this is going to be end up being plus 50 because these two negatives will pass, uh, cancel out. And that'll all come out to um, when you add all this, add and multiply this up, it'll come out to 600 volts. And that's how you figure out potential in uh, something that's um, with a uh, kind of a changing electric field. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, please uh, send me a message and I would be happy to get back to you. Uh, I'll just, um, I'll see you in the next lesson.